name is Francisco de Guzman and with Rodrigo Sanz we are presenting this project that we worked on over the last month called Emotional State Classification using low-cost single-channel electroencephalography. Uh, the idea for this project was uh, to see whether the backyard brain's uh, spiker box was able to um, identify emotions uh, from just uh, the one single channel and it's low cost. Um, and in particular, we wanted to see whether we could induce different emotional states from visual stimuli, stimuli and uh, whether the data recorded with, the, uh, with this equipment could be used to train machine learning models uh, adequately. Um, this is something that had been done before with uh, research grade equipment. For example, uh, Juan Getal obtained an above 80% accuracy, but they were using, as I said, research grade equipment and um, uh, multiple channels. Because we were working with a single channel, we had an extra limitation, which is that we had to place the electrodes um, somewhere that was uh, adequate. And this is solved by the frontal asymmetry of emotion. This is a, a model that states that positive emotions uh, are associated with higher brain activity on the left hemisphere of the frontal lobe, whereas negative emotions are associated with, ha with higher uh, activity in the right hemisphere of the frontal lobe. So we decided to place the electrodes uh, on the right hemisphere of the frontal lobe. Um, so in order to, to create or induce these, um, these emotional states, we, were, we, were using, we wanted to use uh, visual stimuli images, uh, which we now call context images. But we, uh, in order to, to make sure that participants were engaged in the task and that they could be concentrated for say 20 to 30 minutes, we added an extra, uh, some, something like a bonus which is that we measured the influence of emotional states on value judgments. So for between uh, blocks, which were for about uh, one minute, um, we showed several context images of uh, constant uh, emotional valence. And we also showed some target images, here a face, and we asked them to uh, identify the emotion of that image when they saw uh, this uh, this response cue. So this is the the basis of our of our of our experiment. So uh, going in a more detail step, we we started uh, with a Oasis data set that we took from Yale University for the Department of Psychology that we find there because we we try to to use validated image and. You can see, uh, like in, in the in the slide, we we only took the the 50 image with the highest balance, so the the positive ones that are in the in the in the right, uh, and we we took the the 50 image with the lowest balance, the negative one, that was our our contact image. So about the target image. We, if you, if you can change the slide, we, we divide this, this part in, 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 in half for our experiment. We, we started the, the first half with, with this face image, that was, this was the, the target image that the, 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 the subject um, um, had to, 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 to make an, a response, a, a response cue here as, uh, between all the image that, that the, the subjects saw, uh, the target image was the one that has one second to answer. So uh, we, we, we use a B-balance response, so positive response or negative response. And, and we use the first, the first half of the experiment with the face image, but we, we, dis we discussed about it and we found that the, this kind of image um, 
implemented some 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 context, some uh, influence in the subject because you you can see a smiley faces or an angry face or a brave face. So we we divide them in half, and the second half we use a more abstract uh, image, so like geometrical shapes, and that we found it in a in a in a in a research paper from Blasenkova that, that that was tested. So it, it is a validated data set that found that some angular uh, uh, geometrical shape are more. Um, tend to, to, to have a negative response and rounded geometrical shape and tend to, to have a more positive response. So uh, for the EEG, uh, as, as Francisco told before, we, we placed it in the right frontal lobe with a background, background brain and, and a single channel um, uh, with two electrodes place it in the, in the F4 zone. And the more important stuff is the next slide. So if you can change it. We, we have, um, in, in more detail, we, we use eight subjects from 26 to 41, which were four were females. And uh, each experiment was two blocks uh, divided in, in six positive contact and, and six negative contact with six face image targets and, and six shape targets, as I told before. And it was like 10 target image per, per block, about one minute. So one, one difficult that we found uh, with this kind of, of interface, like, like Bayern like Brains, is that it was difficult for us to, to use uh, external um, programming code to, 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 to do some uh, more complex experiments. So, we, for, for, the paro, for, for the first time, like the, the behavioral uh, experiment, we use GS psych uh, that is in, in JavaScript code. And for the spiker box code, we use Python. But uh, at first, we didn't know how to synchronize them because we need that all the data were uh, recorded and, and synchronized at the same time. So we use um, a web server delivery that, that called Socket.io that uh, allow us to, 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 to synchronize both, both code at the same time. So then the, the subject were exposed to a, a, a computer that, that went to a, a, a web server, a local host, and, 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 and all the data were recorded in the hard drive. So, so for us, it was um, an accomplished to, to, to try to work outside also the spiker box at the same time that we were recording. Okay, so now for the, for the results. Uh, so one of the, the parts of the experiment was <clears throat> to see whether during a block where the context images were all positive or all negative, um, whether uh, subjects were able to identify the uh, emotional characteristics of the targets. Um, here we see in the uh, left side the, um, the results, the percentage of targets identified as positive in the y axis for the afraid faces and for the happy faces. So, for the afraid faces, most responses were uh, towards negative. And for happy faces, more, most responses were towards positive. Uh, but we can see a slight difference uh, depending on the context. So positive contexts uh, imply um, subjects identified both happy and afraid faces slightly more often as being positive. But this is uh, more interesting when we look at the shapes um, because um, well, these shapes don't have a uh, don't have an emotional meaning per se, um, and so here we can see that, uh, in average, uh, angular shapes were slightly more negative than rounded shapes, uh, but the difference, uh, depending on the context, uh, here is is uh, much more present, and and so positive context influences or uh, alters the value judgments. 
Now, when we look at the at the main event here, that is the whether or not we could uh, classify uh, the EEG data, um, the procedure was uh, standard for single channel EEG. Uh, as we all know, EEG data is very noisy. Um, the the pre-processing uh, has three steps. First, we remove artifacts such as eye blinks and, and head movements with a savitsky golai smoothing filter. Uh, we also use bandpass filters to remove uh, anything outside the, the interesting uh, ranges. And we extract features uh, as the spectral energies for brain activity in the ranges of 4 to 45 hertz. Uh, this is the data that we then feed to machine learning uh, models, uh, standard uh, algorithms such as uh, K nearest neighbors, support vector machines, and uh, random forests. And we use this data to, to classify and to, to test these models, both subject-wise and block-wise. The difference here being that when we do subject-wise classification, we we train based on all but some subjects and then we test with those new subjects. And when we do blockwise classification, we leave out a few blocks and then use those to, to do the, the validation of the models. And uh, well, as you can see, we achieve a, a, a satisfactory results over 60% and, and close to 70% uh, with the subject wise and the best uh, algorithm, which is the uh, random forest. So these are the, the results that we obtained. And Rodrigo. So for, for discussion, um, first, we, we were happy that the results are in agreement with the scientific literature, as, as I told you before, that Glass um, and Koba. Uh, so that in generally in the behavioral data we found that that that, that the subject uh, tend to, to respond to 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 uh, uh, as, um, positive image as as the rest of the scientific literature and 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 and, and what that was very very good for us then we find that different emotional state can be induced by positive or negative visual stimulus. It's about the, the context, so the context image that we um, mix between the target image um, uh, influence uh, the value, sh the shutterment. So, 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 so the value shutterment seems to be influenced by the emotional state of, of those context image. Uh, but then the most important in, 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 in this discussion and in, in our work that we, we try to, to, to do in one month, is that we found that emotional states are measurable from a low-cost single-channel EEG data. That for, for us was very important to find that because we wanted to, 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 to find if some cheap um, interface uh, could, um, it, it was never, or we didn't find uh, in, the, in the scientific literature uh, a paper as, as, as we try to research. Uh, so, so for us, it was, it was uh, an, an achievement to, to find that emotional state can be measured from, from this kind of, of backyard, uh, backyard brain uh, interface. And of course, we achieve an above chance classification of emotional state, like, like Francisco told you. Uh, we, with random forest, forest, we arrive at 70%. Uh, it's not perfect, but this is near the, the the near the the work that we mentioned at first. That was in near eighty above uh, eighty eighty percent. So we are happy about that. And 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 the thing that we we think that we accomplished for for the the. The, the, the society of, 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 of the community of open source and of open hardware is that we accomplish a data recording and synchronization at tight backyard brain spike growth. And for us, it was uh, unreal accomplished. So uh, what is next is, of course, <laughs> to, to, to get more data 
because we had the time to find only eight subjects um, to, to do our exper experiment. So we need um, to, to, to work more on that and to, to get more data to, to in, in, try to improve our results. And we think that we have to, to make some research on the resultal effects from previous blogs. That means that we think that other order matters and, 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 and sometimes we realize that uh, if a block uh, was first positive, it will induce or influence the next block if it's negative or if it's again positive. So uh, we think that we have to do some research there. Uh, we also want to improve the experimental design. Um, discussing with the subject, we found that there are some bias in this kind of, of psychological experiment about the, the, the it doesn't impact in the same way, the same image doesn't impact in the same way in, in, in every subject. So, so we think we have to, to, to improve uh, this kind of experimental design. And of course, we want to share our code and the data in the open software community. We are, we are going to, to upload a, a GitLab, uh, freely available. And, and, and that's it. That's what we want to show. And if you want to contact us, of course, there is uh, our mail there. And thank you, thank you very much. Hi. Uh, Francisco, I have a question for you. So in the OSIS data set, I, I think that there is a score for, for uh, balance and other uh, dimension of uh, emotional uh, states. So have you been able to correlate what you found with the, the, the value of the images? So if you the, have the same results? Yeah, so the other, the other values are arousal. So yes. both balance and, and arousal. Uh, we didn't test whether or not the... Um, so what you're saying is instead of taking two categories, uh, positive or negative valence, uh, testing whether or not the images uh, yes. are correlated to arousal. That's exactly, because I think that those data from Oasis data, uh, databases is based in other kind of uh, approaches, like more psychological, where mm -hmm. you have to respond uh, using images, standard yes. icons. So, yeah, yeah. so it could be great to standardize if you have comparable data across the, the both data sets. Yes, so. that's interesting, because the, the, um, the frontal asymmetry model that says that uh, well, negative emotions are associated with higher right uh, hemisphere activity uh, is has been recently corrected to say that the what what correlates is actually withdraw with okay. the right hemisphere and approach with the left hemisphere so it's not necessarily that positive and negative um, emotions but rather whether or not you you want to see more or less of what you're seeing uh, so yeah that's interesting because maybe uh, arousal it's also uh, a, a part of the mixture yeah perfect and i want to uh, i want to say that uh, this is very interesting for me because i have a student a phd student from mm -hmm. economy that is working in the in this kind of things uh, uh, proving different brands and the reaction of the the consumers uh, in different contexts stressing uh, context and, and preference. So, so it's going to be great if we can uh, have a, a job later or mm -hmm. yeah, some conversations uh, and I can introduce him. Okay. Yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank mm -hmm. you.